Hello, Monday. Hello, Tuesday. From something, this was an attempt at a song that didn't turn out very well. It's early on a... It's early on a... Uh, what's the word? <clears throat> Excuse me. Sunday morning. And I'm doing a place called Global Interiors Unique Bars. Apparently this guy... Um, has this huge... Like a bunch of different themes in Reddit that this guy apparently does. And I went looking through them all trying to find number one. Never did. Um, so we're in here. And this is just weird and unique bars. Um, the rules, I guess, not leaving the bar. I'm going to try not to as best I can. But got five places to go for. Let's see if I can figure out where the fuck we are. I think we're in England. I don't know where. Do un do it Mondroit. I don't know what that means. Can I see what's on this? I cannot. So this actually it almost feels like it could be France. And it feels like it also could be Um England. Like uh, Normandy, Brittany, that t that part of uh, France that's uh, bordering the English Channel. But I see these little flowers here. This makes me feel like this is definitely England. I don't know where, but I'm just going to click London for now. I can't really make out this. Uh, oh, the mermaid, Rye, and Sussex. All right, where's uh, Sussex? Sausages and sausages. Pardon me, that was dumb. I even I'm, I'm I feel really bad about that. Um, how was was your weekend? Did you get everything you wanted to get done? I had a very uh, isn't Sussex up north here? I had a very uh, lazy weekend. I mean, granted, only half it's done by the time I'm doing this. But the uh, where the fuck is Sussex? This is a word I've heard before, but now I can't find it. Um, yeah, uh, Mother's Day is today. Yesterday, from when you're watching this, when it came out. Going down to uh, have a barbecue with the mother. And I was just like, well, what are you getting your mom? And I'm just saying, me. I mean, I'm the reason there is a uh, Mother's Day to celebrate with you. You made me. Isn't this a good enough gift? And then if they say no, then I'm like, well, sorry. I can just go die. And then you won't have to worry about a Mother's Day anymore. I can't find Sussex. Is it like a, a thing in London? Like, the word is completely refusing to be uh, seen by me. But whatever. I'd like to also thank everyone for the continued support, think, and input. Although I did have a bit of a question um, with one of them. Granted, it was helpful saying that Moscow, uh, there's no mountains there. But unless I missed it, because I clearly missed Sofia bit being... Uh, um, somewhere on the screen at some point, they said that it doesn't get that hot. And I do not have the best way of Humber, huh? I'm very mad I couldn't find Sussex. Um, although I have not figured it out myself, so... if Oh, it's in Rye. Okay. The Lamb House. If you know how to... Um, Get this off the screen, come on. To uh, tell by a picture how hot it is, let me know, because I've clearly missed how to decipher that. This has told me nothing yet. I just got Marseille here. The laughing cow. The cow who laughs. Lavash ki re. Reet, or is it re? Do not leave the bar. I'm going to not try to leave the bar. It seems very bright and sunny. 
with a very old little, well, at least old looking little thing here. We got some absinthe. This shit is uh, something else, let me tell you, if you've never had it before. Air France. It almost seems too cheesy for a French restaurant to have French stuff like this, but I don't know. Um, like we've got the Orient little section here for Indochina, Canadian Pacific, Chateau d'Isson, and Marjo, Margo. So, let's see what we got. This is all in French. Popec, I don't know what any of this stuff is. Donal Jacksman, good for you. Okay, I'm going to try not to leave the store. This is the only uh, thing we have. So, we've got wine section of Bordeaux. Like, I don't know if this is one of those things that they just have it up here for, like, <clears throat> excuse me, little ambiance or whatnot, but maybe it's just because they're in the area here where this bar is that they're going to have this little poster up here, but I don't see, well, there is, like, a thing here. Maybe that's just another, like, wine region, and this seems hyper granular for uh, what you could get for wine in the area. That's, like, those people who... uh know how to tell the difference in whatever they put into wine, like the notes of this and that. Like I don't understand how people can. That is something completely beyond my scope. I don't even if I was able to, I still don't even know if I'd want to. I mean I'm not trying to find, sound all like hoity toity because I'm Armagnac. But that's not what I find interesting as far as a hobby is being able to tell the difference in uh, wine tastings and pairings. Now, I don't know anything about maybe Receipt Duven. This is its wine. Maybe that's where we are. I'm just going to click it, but I doubt it's this because this is a big round thing and we're in a not so round thing. But I'm only putting it here because we had the uh, poster up there for uh, wine regions in Bordeaux. Um, I've never been to this bar. I doubt I'm actually going to see any of these, but I think these are also people who come here so much they get their own little towel or whatever, little cubby hole they can put stuff in. There's a place here in town that does that also with like uh, chopsticks for their sushi place they have. Like, this looks like it could be, like, those type of chairs look very relaxed, like they've been sat in so much. But I don't think I would appreciate the wine bar here, because that's not my thing. Well, fuck. How was I to know, based off of what was written here, that this was apparently some stupid place I had never heard before? I take umbrage with that very much. This is a weird barber bar, a barber. That's a nice play on words. Well, we've got potentially old Britishy type uh, or European type vehicle outside. Um. Drink the water in the bar. cutting edge entertainment. Well, they speak English here, but these are very European exit signs. Although I don't trust anything now because they have that fucking that bar we were just at. Okay, I'm gonna go over here and at least look at the prices. Maybe this will tell me what country we're in by seeing what their dollar signs look like. They're all in euros. And, uh, that's it. Cutting edge promotions. All right, barbers. Hennessy and ginger. Jameson and ginger. Let's see. I'm not seeing any, like, weird non-alcohol I haven't seen before. These are too lit up. 
for me to be able to tell what they are. I wonder if they had to, like, ask a guy to, like, clear this whole place out for them to actually be able to uh, go in here and do this. But some bar called Barber's. I have no idea where this is. I mean, it's in Europe. That's all I know. You got a little DJ set up over here. They clear all this shit out. They got, like, little lights up. Oh, no, it's... I thought they had lights up here for a stage, but they really don't. They got a water buffalo there. It's in euros. That's all I got. I'm going to say this is probably... Probably England, but again, I don't know. Um, I almost feel like I should permit myself a step outside because they played with my trust and put that one place in Singapore <laughs> when clearly everything else here was uh, showing French. Let's see, everything here looks very British. Do they have any British words anywhere? You got a plowman's board um, for all the tables. Table quiz with freeze pizza. That's a weird way of saying pub trivia. You got an open mic live music sessions. Well, I'm going to say we're in uh, just London again because, fuck, I don't know. Maybe this this could very well be like up north somewhere, but I'm just going to say London because I have no other way of finding out if this isn't. I got to look at these little, these are like cool little center table things, though. Just like underlit some of these weird whatever, like sanitizer things they are that whenever you see in movies, people take drinks from them. Um, let's see. No more bald heads. Well, I bet that probably either made you lose your scalp or gave you cancer. You can shave with a Gillette. Man, I cannot, like, I never shave just because. I don't like it. I mean, I don't really have any other reason for it. I got a beard now. I'm just kind of lazy, and that also um, plays out into facial hair stuff. I mean, one of my jobs I actually had to have a uh, shave face. I hated it. I hate me with... I'm just going to talk through this. I don't care anymore. I hated it. I had to. I looked dumb. I hate the way I look without it. I mean, maybe it's just because I'm so used to uh, having, oh, we're in Dublin. That's great. I'm so used to having my face this certain way that it's, all right, we're in a potentially Moscow place. I'm not seeing any non-Russian letters here or extra letters. Let's see, we've got Kamchtaka. Kamshtak, that's pivo. That's beer. These are all beers. These are cocktails. Cocktaili. That's Rusko Yapnoskaya. No, no. Y A P O N. Yapnoskaya. Yapnoskaya, I guess. Yeah. They got a biffy, biffy. Ugh. Maybe this is white Russian. Actually, that's a B-52. O-T-V-E-R-T-K-A. Hmm. And you got some water here, looks like. No, I don't think that's water. That's, that's why... Eh, brain is slowly stopping. Slowly stopping working. <laughs> <laughs> this is a cool place, though. It's got, like, I bet you it has, a, like, these super old chairs. Oh, they got hookah bar. It's all in Russian, though, so I'm feeling, even though it's a hookah bar, that this is probably Moscow, because where else am I going to put it in uh, Russia? Unless I see a uh, sign telling me something that I'm not going to... Um, that's going to tell me actually where we are. That's not Moscow. Nice little microwave here. These are fucking, that is old. Cute. They have 
beef eater gin just in its own little cubby here. And you got boxes of apple juice. That's the one thing that's interesting as far as uh, um, European places is they put their juices in cartons like this. I'm not saying it's bad. It's just different from what we have here in the States. We got Lenin in the back there. So I'm just going to put us, well, we're either St. Petersburg or Moscow. That's, that's the two places I'm putting ourselves right now. And the only reason I'm saying St. Petersburg is because it's another city in Russia, and it used to be Leningrad, and maybe it's putting Lenin there, even though he was kind of a big deal. Oh, we got paper lanterns here, although everything still in Russian is making me not think anything different other than at least Russia. Oh, this is interesting. You got, oh, you got a little murky. You got some canned, canned meats. Tinned, excuse me, for all you British people, even though that does sound weird to me. All right, we've got DJs. This is P-I-V, P-Bar, P-V, P-V, Bar, P-V, Bar. Yeah, you value. Moskvu, Moskvo, Moskvu, Moskvu, Y A L Y O O P L Y O O. Yeah. Got a Vespa here. This is a cool little place, though. I would not want to drive that. This is just Tchotchke Corner here. I was like, ah, I like the theme here, and they're like, I don't know, fuck it, just throw things up here. We got like a windshield of an old Jeep hood to some car. Yep. What is this place actually called? The Vogue Cafe. That's cool. That's cool. This place is going to probably be the hardest one just because I think I have very little to work with here. That, no smoking. What the fuck does this say? Crockett, available, Benny Ban. I can't read that. Um, let's take a look. Oh, I see what they did. They just put a little thing down. It's not a guy walking. It's just a little uh, tripod lens. So this is English, at least. The only thing this is making me think, oh god, this feels like I'm drunk here. Oh, they got WC. That really isn't a uh, thing we do in the U.S. Water closet is kind of a uh, European thing, although big beware pickpockets and loose women. This almost feels like this could be New Orleans. Let's get some black mold in the ceiling here. If I was to pick a place in the U.S., this would be New Orleans. However, just because WC, the water closet there, that's what, under 21, so that's a U.S. thing at least. Um, all right, so let's see, can I hit over here? Okay, we are still technically inside. I am going to take advantage of this. They, if I hit forward here, what happens? Okay, I'm at the door. All right. Let's take a look outside. I need this because they fucked me over with that last one. So this technically isn't cheating. We got budget. Budget is a U.S. As far as I know, at least it's a U.S. thing. I'm going to say this is New Orleans. Um, this could be New Orleans. This also could be like a Miami thing. But I feel right now that this is New Orleans. Just because it has that Art Deco kind of um, French neon vibe to it. If I had to try to like explain what my brain is telling me as far as a feeling, it's hard to explain a feeling. Um, that's all I got. I mean, this could be Miami. I have very little space to work with. Like, I don't think I can get over here at all. Nope. Um, anything else I can suss out here? This is just weird. We're looking into infinity here. <laughs> what year is this? 
2011. Now, yeah, that doesn't tell me anything. Uh, we've got Heimlich Maneuver stuff. Oh, this is the liquor license, or at least the permit, if you want to call it that, to one of these two. One's a liquor license. One's just probably saying, like, we're, you're allowed to have this many people here, like a fire marshal type thing. But I can't. It's just something, something, state liquor license. This could be, like, New York state liquor license. Because, well, New Orleans, that's too small. Do I want to make a change? Because that looks like... That looks like that says New York. This is all I'm basing it off, so I am going to change it and put us at New York. That's all I've got. Like, this almost looks like the New York seal, state seal. So... I mean, I can't really remember what the Louisiana flag looks like, so I'm going to say New York. Yes. I'm so glad I did move. My mouse is freaking out on me here. What is this called? Employees only? Oh, okay. Well, other than this fucking switcheroo here, pretty good. Um, I guess I know my bars, generally. Um, yeah, kind of like this weird little bar thing. You were able to suss out enough to let you know. I feel real smart and vindicated that I did move that last one to New York, but uh, feeling good. Pretty good round of uh, GeoGuessers. I think I like this guy's theme. I might try out some of his other ones. He does apparently a bunch of these on uh, Reddit, so either I'll do a bunch of these all at once or I'll spread it out. Over some uh, over some days throughout the weeks here, but uh, once again, thank you all for watching. You did like, favorite, comment, subscribe. Tell me your thoughts, your ideas, suggestions, comments, questions, concerns, any of that other stuff. Uh, week starting out strong. Come back again in two days. Before you know it, before I know it, it'll be here. Thanks all for watching. We'll see you soon.